Basic methods of making pots. Hand building pots. 4.2 This is the coil method. With the coil method, you use coils to make your pot. Coils are almost like long rolls of clay. Or could also be like worms of clay. I'm going to show you now how to make a coil pot with the coil method. You take a ball of clay and then after you've wet your clay you roll it out with a roller. Then you can take a kind of a, a top of something and you just press out your base a round base and you cut around it so here you've got a round base for your pot that you want to make with the coil method then you make it a bit smooth on the sides and then you can even make it thicker if you want a thicker base then on the sides you scratch where you're going to join the first coil and you put your toothbrush, old toothbrush, into the watery slip. And then, of course, you put it on top there. And then you start to roll your clay into coils. So that you can use these coils to put onto your pot. So you also scratch the coils at the bottom. Or the top it depends on where you're going to put it onto now here I'm going to put it on here so you press it down onto the base of your pot and see that it's tight on there rather make your coils thicker than thinner because if it's thicker you can still work it off but it's too thin then you can't work well with it so rather thicker than thinner then you can work it off, put it off, off so that this work it downwards, and then from the inside you can put a little, little, a small little coil if you want inside, and you make it wet with your finger with the slip, and you can put a little coil just to because it's the first coil there that you're joining. And then you can use one of your wooden tools to just join it well. See, this is the base of the little coil pot. And you use your finger and you make it neat. Your base is important to make your base neat because that is the part that the pot have, has to stand on. And then you work it off on the sides and then you can also take your spoon and slap it a little bit to get it into the perfect shape and see that it's flat at the bottom here it's nice and flat and there you are with your pot's base then you scratch again onto this coil and then you roll out another coil and then you can measure it and see that it's going to fit yes so then you scratch at the bottom of you turn it around so that it will be the bottom of the coil and then you put some slip of the old tooth brush on top of the edge of the pot and on the coil and you join it again and see that it's joined well and you push it down with your thumb like this or with your tool and with this you push it down with your tool around and round in your hand you see that it works very well there you go. And you 
look see that it goes works well then you also work with this hand onto it and there you can see that it's working and then you use this okay then you can add another coil onto it and you scratch it again with your fork and you scratch it yeah with the on the coil and you put a little slip on here and a bit of slip on the side of the coil and then you add it again I'm just going to make a small little pot now to show you because it's just a basic method I'm going to add a little piece in here basic method of coil making a coil pot but one can make quite big pots with this the big pots that the people make even for beer um, th those pots in Africa those pots are also made by coils so the big round beer pots so you always work it down with your finger like this so that there's no that is totally smoothed out and this side as well with your thumb and your fingers like this and then the outside you use your tool to smoothen it like this top to bottom top to bottom bottom to top also just whatever is comfortable for you you can work it a little bit like this and then if you want to make your little pot a bit more even at the top what you can do is you can cut it off even by using your fish line or by using a knife you just cut it off a little bit with from the top like this and here you can cut it off just to see that it's even because the one side almost look a bit thicker than the other side okay you can use a little bit of the fish line to cut it like this so that it's more even look there and then you work a little bit onto it again and make it all even smooth it out keep it with your hands together make it more even like this see that it's all even like this with your thumbs especially and hold it always with your other hand up so that it doesn't collapse this and you put your finger to make it smooth again and then you can cover it with plastic in between and work on it again until you are happy with it so this is a coil pot and this is just the method to show you that a coil pot is made out of a base and out of some coils and the coils you roll like this or you can take a ball of clay and you can roll it on your surface like this with two hands to roll out your coils or you can roll it in between your hands or like this even and then you can cut it even with a, a knife as well if you want to and then you see always that your coils are that there are no cuts or 
cracks or anything in your curls when you use it as well and that it's long enough to cover your um, the width of your little pot and let's see see this is the outside you can still work on it when you see there's a little bit of a crack or whatever you can still work on it and then I would suggest cover it first with um, plastic and then keep it again and then you leave it outside to dry a little bit more and then you work a little bit on it and if it changes um, the shape you can use the spoon when it's a little bit harder to help you to the wooden spoon just to heat it into its shape. And that is the coil method, how to make a little pot out of coils.